Hello, Rania AK Mac, and welcome. Today we are on Microtech, and I am going to give us a tour of the Anvil Carrack, which is right there. I was kind of hoping the sun would come up, but it hasn't yet, so we'll just do a tour of the inside, and hopefully by the time we finish, the sun will be risen. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, I am actually blown away by the Karak. Um, it is only available at the moment to Eva Katis, and the uh, But it is on the live service, so it's okay to record, it's okay to spread the word. And you enter, the only way of entering right now is through the front elevator, which doesn't seem like the best option. Um, there is an elevator inside, sorry, front ramp. There is an elevator inside, but the... Uh, it doesn't go all the way to the ground, which would make a, a sensible option, in my opinion. So you have two ways of getting in, uh, excluding airlocks. But we know that the cargo hold is big enough for two Ursus. You can actually fit them in side by side. Maybe three, potentially four dragonflies, load of noxes. Uh, a lot of room in here. Also appears to be some storage racks. Uh, whether they'll become functional, I don't know. I'd like to think so. But this basically opens up the security panel that stops you from re reversing into the door and stopping people getting in. Now, there is actually, which I found out, a door here that goes all the way up to, I believe, either the tech deck or habitation. It goes a long way. So that's a, a good way of... Shit. That's a good way of getting up uh, without having to go through all the elevators and, and whatnot. But anyway, let's continue on along here. So as you enter the cargo hold, you come in and you've got the docking collar and an elevator, which this elevator will actually take you to every level. Um, let me just double check that. Yeah, so you've got sub deck, habitation or technical deck. We're on the sub deck at the moment, I think. That was rude. Uh, and then you've got a habitational and technical further up. Yeah, you just can't get to the observation deck, which is right on the top. But the docking collar here is the new docking collars, which will be the ones used for um, when ship to ship, ship to station docking comes in, which is pretty cool. As you can see, Microtech's still waiting for uh, the sun to rise. But yeah, these are the, I suppose we can stand. These are going to be the functioning docking collars, which are two by two meters. This will extend. Uh, and attach to the other ship. At the moment, the, the ship, while it's landed, does shake about a bit, which is a bit strange. I think they'll fix that later on, but you can see through the window how it's just bouncing. Then you have six, is it six? No, five uh, EVA suit lockers. So you will keep your EVA suits here, maybe even your armor suits. It depends on what you're planning to do. And then if you have to go across to another ship, be it a derelict, be it a station, be it a normal ship, you can get changed. I assume the the tunnel will be pressurized, so you should be all right regardless. But you wouldn't want to go venturing into a derelict ship without it. So these are the three cargo pops. pops. They are exactly, uh, are, all three are identical. We have the new building blocks, by the way. I forgot to mention that. This is the new building blocks. Um, I forgot about that bit. Elevator panel or controls, which will be applied to all ships and um, all areas of the game. But they are quite spacious. Uh, apparently a ballista can fit in here. It must fit between 
sort of where the elevator is in here, which is quite useful because you've got this walkway section to, to maneuver. Uh, we still don't know what CIG plan to have in terms of other pods. This is just cargo, purely cargo. There was talk about um, a science pod where you can fly around, drop them off, drop your um, scientists off on a planet and then uh, in three different areas and then fly on, which I think would be amazing having different scientific instruments and stuff around. Do let me know if you've got any ideas of what pods you would want to see, but science for me is definitely uh, a big one. I assume this, although it's just a placeholder for the time being with engine control, I think it will have more functionality in the future where we'll have other options to do and interact with depending on what pod you have. This I expect for the cargo version would just be a, uh, a manifest letting you know what is on the cargo pods, um, clamping pods down below, which is, would be quite good. Oh Jesus, there's a bit of a, a missing floor around here, like quicksand. I wonder if these red balls are emergency lighting and will flash. The lighting isn't all that great around everywhere. The engineering area and sub deck that we're on now is quite dark. But hopefully they'll address any that are that are too dark later on. So you've got a couple of weapon lockers here, which is good, and three armor suit sections, which is really nice. I mean you can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight weapons there maybe you can have a mixture of um small arms and machine guns and uh, handguns sorry and rifles and so forth but quite a lot of option there this is apparently harking back to its military days it's an exploration vessel now it's not a military vessel but it, it still has those abilities but yeah you keep your armor suits instead of your eva suits they're separate uh, let's go around here, which I think takes us to where the turret is. The aft turret, which is quite handy. I'm not going to sit in them just yet. I, from what I understand, they're a bit glitchy, some of the seats. Uh, so I don't want to risk it. But there's nothing there. Not yet, anyway. That might open up to reveal something. So I'll come back around and we have the elevator using this new building blocks again. As access to every single floor. So we're on the sub deck right now. Uh, you can actually just press to open the doors, which is quite nice. I like that feature. Uh, it makes sense if people are wanting to get in. So we'll go to the habitation next. So this is deck two. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. I think this is just to do with the MRI station, which explains why this weird thing is sticking out the back. Let's walk around this way first. But it's a cool, cool ship. It really is. So this is the medical uh, area. It's nice that it's um, blocked off so you can't... Something's bouncing around outside. So you can't look in if someone's being treated. And also, it has a quarantine sort of area that will spray you with these jets to ensure that you don't have any contaminated things on you, I guess. It's not working now, but it will. So you come in. Have a fire hydrant. One day we'll need to use that. Maybe some lockers. Oh, that's the O2. Okay. Same over that side. I love the frosted glass effect. It just looks so nice. Then you have two medical beds, which... Uh, I don't know what tier these will be. We know technically it's a tier two. It's one up from... Um, or that's a tier two, one up from the Cutlass Red. It is not technically a respawn point, although you can set it as that for the time being. But I think these will be tier one. Uh, tier three beds, maybe. Tier three, tier, tier two which will allow you to treat quite serious to non-lethal problems. And then this bed, which isn't an MRI. I don't know why I keep calling it that. This allows you to scan persons. It also allows you to set as your ICU, which is very useful in the PTU. Uh, yeah, so it's a take. this will just probably... you'll Someone will lay on here 
Um, you will leave them to it and walk into the doctor's office where you have a couple of stations and a lot of the little equipment and some O2 stations as well. And then you'll they'll go in and you'll be able to scan them and see what's what's what with them. It'll tell you what the problem is. I've had a read of this. I don't think it's anything too relevant, but I'll leave it there for a second so you can pause it if you want to read it. It's <laughs> it's probably just a little bit of a an Easter egg. I don't know. None of it makes sense to me. But then you will need to run the diagnosis, figure out what's wrong with them. There is actually an engineers only, which I believe allows you to go in behind and fix maybe this device, that the scanning device, maybe. And then you've got a lot of different things here, like gloves, needles, syringes, anything and everything you might need um, to keep people alive. And there's this microscope, which is pretty cool sink with the fridge underneath we can't access that unfortunately but that's where you'll keep things cool um lots of servers here i don't think these i'm hoping these aren't just the, the servers for the full ship i'm hoping these are just for medical reasons uh, your waste disposal there i guess we'll use it some cupboards at the top as well so some nice areas here and i'm sure eventually they'll be use usable here is kind of your storage room for excess stuff or just other medical supplies it looks like you've got plants there that eventually you might need samples and things you can use to create medicines oxes which i would love if we can order things like you know we've run out of latex gloves please send more and they look like uh, spare oxygen bottles there's a lot of stuff here in it um, how much it really harks to what we can expect in the medical mechanic i don't know I'm sure as they flesh it out even further, we will get more items and ideas as to what we need. But I love how things are with the boxes, with all the supplies. I'm sure they'll have a use eventually, be it those or new ones. But that's the medical area. Very useful, in fact, because it is literally next to uh, the cockpit which and the habitation area, which is all down there. That's the bridge, and you've got habitation here, so it's very close by this is just the other side nothing through there now this door doesn't open it makes the sound as though it is and it looks as though it is and you can't walk through it which kind of sucks so i don't know what's behind there i'm guessing it's likely gonna be more storage because it does kind of lead to nowhere from what i can see but i don't know we also have an elevator which is handy which can take you to all the other decks except for the observation deck you've got the technical habitation and sub which again very handy to have that option so oh hey up come on notice me there we go so this is the pool table which well will lead through to the other side is it daylight yet Getting some poor frames at the moment. Maybe it's to do with the ship. Maybe it's to do with Microtech. I don't know. But this is the crew quarters, which we saw in the sitcom demo. And you've got one, two, three, four, five beds. Because it's a six-man crew, including the captain. And he has his own personal quarters. Here, looks like the showers. Are they on the toilets? There, these are the showers. Which eventually will come in handy. All the things you might need on board a ship, even flip-flops. But two showers. Man, I can't wait to be logging in and out of this ship. Oh, the beds don't seem to be usable at the moment, which is a shame. I thought they would be. Okay, not all of them are. Fair enough. Uh, emergency ammunitions access. That might come in handy. No touch. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Uh, so we have the lockers here, which when the personal inventories come in, they will be very useful. Being able to store your clothes, seats to sit down, put shoes on maybe. More lockers. So that's the crew quarters, which, as I say, leads straight into the pool table, which is uh, pretty cool. It's starting to get daylight. That's nice. Don't know how this game is going to play out. We don't have a cue ball, which kind of makes no sense. I've seen weirdly shaped pool tables. Having a, a hexagonal one or whatever this is is not... Uh, too out of the extraordinary but it will be fun nonetheless so it'll be nice when we get that mechanic in 
Now here we have, I think these are the toilets for the crew. Very nice. And toilet paper. And we'll do it right. Now that's about it in there. Again, areas to put stuff. <laughs> uh, some uh, some incense just in case. You know, someone there's a number two. They've thought of everything. A lot of control panels and screens, which, I don't know, maybe you can watch the SATA ball on them. Maybe they'll just give you readings about where you are, your ship. Uh, so if you are on leave, not on leave, but taking a break, it might, um, might be helpful. And then we lead into the mess hall. Very, very cool looking mess hall with everything you'll need. Oh, the sun is coming up. Excellent. I thought it was. I wasn't sure if it was going down or coming up, so thank God it's coming up. You've got your food areas. You did have a coffee machine. That's gone. Maybe we have to buy one separately. Got a bit of soy sauce and mustard, ketchup. Don't know what that is. If anyone can translate. Maybe it's Jan. I don't think so, but we'll see. Uh, more storage. I do look forward to the days where we're just sitting around the, the, the table, the mess hall, discussing stuff. Uh, like our plans on where we're going to go and what we're going to do. You've even got measuring spoons, which is crazy. Lots of details here, and eventually they will all likely have some function eventually. Look at that view. I just wish it wasn't bouncing around so much. In fact, that's the... Um, that's the new Babbage landing zone, isn't it? Damn, I wish it wasn't bouncing. It's going to be a long video, this. As ships get bigger and bigger. So, next up, we have this, which is the crew, the captain's um, captain's dorm, it says. Or captain's quarters. Which is really nice. Um, fire hydrant, just in case he's up to no good. Lots of little things dotted around. This is probably the same scripture as that was on the other one. Yeah, same stuff. Just uh, Lipsimorum, or whatever they call it at the moment. Placeholder text. I assume we'll be able to collect books over the years and read them. I don't know how thorough they will be, but you've got drawers for storage. Um, as he says, TVs here, which are... Um, oh, I, can't remember, I can't think of the term. They can be folded away, basically. And then risen when you need them. You also have your own little technical uh, desk area, which will give you access to, I suppose, crew, anything on board, all your systems... Everything the captain might need to know. And I love this as well. That's the ice. That's the ice cracking. That's concerning. Sounds pretty cool though. Uh, but I do love this whole area. And then he has his own habitation area. He's got his own locker for his own personal clothing. I wonder if this is going to be in use one day as a duffel bag for storing stuff. His own bed. His own toilet, personal toilet and shower. Really nice. Apparently we're outside because my visor's smogging up. You've got a... Is that a snake plant? I don't know. I've been after one of those actually for my own home. How convenient. Oh, I shut that up. For all the OCD out there. Anyway, that's that's cool. I, I really want to own one of these just for the sake of having the, the captain's quarters. I will eventually get there. Maybe I'll see about CCUing my um, M2. Or C2, sorry. Now, the bridge. There's a lot on the bridge to take note of. We have, first of all, access to the radar. But it is not there yet. It is a big, big radar, which is very cool. These are all server uh, blades, which is all the data that you gather up as you are flying around, checking out all the different... Jesus Christ, what is happening? We are bouncing around on the surface of this ice. Wow, look at that view. Holy crap. I can't wait till new Babbage is sorted because this just looks incredible. Wow, nearly made me cry. Uh, so yeah, this is all the storage for the data that you gather, which will be usable. It'll be uh, interesting stuff. It'll be uh, saleable and transferable. You have access to other panels. What's this one? Access point. Not sure exactly what this is for, but we will find out eventually when we start getting physicalized components. How do we close it up? Hang on. Can we not 
close it. Uh, that's going to piss me off. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Got one over this side. We'll open it as well, just so that it's uh, symmetrical. Also, I noticed someone was asking what this is for, and I just thought it was a bit of weird dead space. But it looks as though something goes in here. Whether this is the main computer, I don't know. With it being on the bridge, it could be somewhere that the crew members need to access. Maybe it's particular server blades that you want to swap in and out. I do not have a clue. Do let me know what you think it could be for. I personally think it's likely just to be a main computer that you can access things. But it's cool nonetheless. Uh, not sure what anything else is for around here. But you've got your pilot, your co pilots very cool bridge with uh, a lot of cool stuff i apologize i can't shut them so let's move up uh here we have a lot of elevators dotted around that gives you access to uh, each deck which is really useful but this one is specifically for the bridge so you have your lower bridge which we're on now let's go to the upper bridge And here is where the magic happens. You have your... Oh, it doesn't seem to have rendered in. It was there until I sat in it earlier, which... It's moved over here. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Um, so that technically should be over there. There is obviously a bit of a glitch there, but that's the comm station. That is the gunner's seat. We won't sit in them because I sat in the comm station and that's what happened. So it's probably not a good idea. Here we have a typical mapping station, which is, I think, going to be like a normal map that you have, like a radar map that we currently have in ships um, for just plotting courses. Maybe maybe there's a little more information with it being a Karak. I'm not sure. I'm going to live in Microtech in New Babbage, certainly. Doesn't get much nicer than this, does it? Uh, and then you have access to the um, controls here. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't know whether I'm landing or taking off. And I haven't used it yet. We'll try that, though. We'll definitely give it a go. Take off. Complete. Landing complete. She doesn't like that. Hopefully, they'll resolve this issue. I'm sure they will. I don't know why I say hopefully, because it's going to happen. But that's the bridge. Very cool bridge. I personally wouldn't want, really want to take the reins up top. I can understand why it would be useful if you have someone working the radar or if you're working the radar. But I would prefer to back orders down to my pilot and tell them to do what they need to do. Anyway, you have six escape pods. Very handy um, in case everyone is on the bridge. So you can all just get out of there. Now, technical deck. We have the habitat, uh, the, not the habitation, we have um, the drone room and the repair room, of course. One of my favourite areas where you can take components, stick them on the bench, do what you need to do to, to work on them. That looks like it pulls out to have a much bigger table to work on. Unless that's a drawer of tools, I don't know. They've got placeholders with spanners, ratchets, and all that sort of stuff, and drills. Whether we actually get to use those kind of tools, or if we have a multi-tool to do it all, I have no idea. Um, but it looks kind of cool. That looks like a generator. And some other devices. How interactive this will be, I don't know. It'll probably change when they start working this stuff out. A um, couple of extra panels here for systems. Not sure what systems. And then you have this, which... I don't, know, could, I don't know, it won't be a 3D printer. I don't know why I was thinking that. It'll more likely be a way of assessing what's wrong with it, maybe fixing things in a safe environment if something's likely to be volatile, maybe. Again, if there's anything that you know or you want to speculate on, do let me know in chat. Then we have the drone room. Now, what looks to me, I won't sit in them again because I don't know how stable it all is. But it looks like the drones come in here, and this is the airlock for the drones, so the whole room doesn't get vented, uh, requiring the you know the operators to be wearing an EVA suit. I think what it does, it comes in here, closes up, uh, vents the atmosphere, and gets it to the normal atmosphere and inside, and then it may open up and allow you to access them to work on them. Really love the the windows really love that system because these are actually the the ports that hold on to the drones i believe it has four drones um and maybe similar to like the vulcan you can swap them for different reasons but more exploration focused potentially 
But it's going to be a lot of fun being a drone operator. Cannot wait. So, moving on. Nice room. Very well designed. And I do like the difference in colour scheme, lighting and all that. Uh, based on where we are in the ship. So here is the service ladder. As I say, that takes you all the way down to the um, the cargo hold and the ramp, which gets you straight up to this deck, which is quite impressive, actually. It's got a long way up. This allows you to open the door at the top. We won't open it because I will be standing on there in a second. Uh, but this is your little hangar, which I will show you a picture, actually, of what we've already determined that you can fit inside. <laughs> it's quite a lot of options, to be fair. Um, but as I say, I'll be showing you that picture uh, probably now. Let's move on. Very handy little area. And also, it gives you a lot of room to maintain the ship. So the ship will sit in the middle and you can have engineers working on it, fixing it, adding different weapons or whatever you need to do. Uh, it also seems like there's a station over here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. But the control panel to open the door is there, which is handy on the outside. There'll probably be a way on the inside as well. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, what have we got around here, then? Okay, so this takes you to... Um, the turret now we won't sit in it i've heard it does glitch out if you try and sit in it but i do love uh, the look of the turrets they look very sci-fi uh, very star warsy and i think that's just the perfect look for a turret and also they say they've extended the range at which they can or the angles that they can fire at which is uh, good news that was feedback from citizen con in fact wait a minute was there a door okay that's the elevator that takes you um through all decks that's what we were using when we first got in again it would be very useful if this could take you all the way to the ground i think that would be a big benefit whether they can achieve that i don't know because i don't know what's at the bottom but we'll see that's the port side turret and then here which is quite interesting it this i didn't realize this at first i thought this was more just an engineering station to monitor all these and these things but actually ignore that everything's fine it's the gravity generator i had no idea that was sat up there but you can see it spinning around which is what's creating the gravity on board the ship if you get here and you turn it off it'll stop working which is really cool i'm just wondering what that light's coming from is that where's that reflect oh is it that light there okay but yeah so that's the gravity generator which i didn't realize where that was nicely spotted there uh, if i say so myself and then we're into the main engineering bay where you have the two very large engines which will probably need some form of maintenance you can access areas of them from the, the sort of gangway it is on two decks so you have an elevator here which is very useful something i like about the elevator is you can actually press both and it'll like you can have multiple levels targeted at, this, at different at the same time so it'll go to one go to the next go to the next in sequence so if you're on a, a hotel or a, a, an area which has like 18 floors and there's three of you wanting to get off on one floor two of you on the other you can actually cycle through them like a real elevator very clever stuff so yeah whatever you need to do on the engineering side of things uh this is actually where i fell through um this is the taurus a quantum jump drive which is huge I tried to lay underneath as you do I don't know why I tried that but I gave it a go and I fell through and died um, but it doesn't matter because I respawned on the ship which is really cool actually talking of that I do wonder if maybe um, this is an access panel that allows you to work in some way on it or customise it in some way I don't know, but we'll see. That's a big quantum drive. You also have a ladder that takes you down. I would rather take the lift because I'm lazy. So let's go to the sub deck um, engineering area. 
or lower engineering as it's called. Now, there's, uh, this is where the rest of the components are. What's in here? I haven't even gone in here yet. Oh, I have gone in here. That's why this is open, I think. Maybe I didn't. Well, this is the fuel tank. I don't know what that is. Is that the fuel tank or is that the fuel tank? I feel like this might be the fuel tank. And that might be something else. Maybe a cooler. It doesn't look like a cooler though. But it could be bespoke for this ship. Uh, let's just come out and see what's on the other side. I assume it'll be the same thing. If it is a dual component. Does it say? It doesn't. And there's no brand on it either. Do let me know what this is. I cannot remember for the life of me. Okay. Uh, but there's another fuel tank there. I can't wait to be an engineer on this. So this is your life support. I don't think there's a physical component for that yet. So it's just empty. Uh, radar here. Which is interesting because there is one on the, on the bridge. Again, haven't quite formulated that yet. Then we've got a shield generator which are uh, implemented. Let's open those two. Two shield generators. They are big. And I do wonder if this push and pull mechanic will allow us to interact with these using like a gravity uh, manipulator look how big they are there seems to be more room that side basilix or basilic don't know if there's any others around this is power plant anon and reese uh, armament power plant size three i think everything is technically which is quite monstrous uh, but that's the engineering area which i really do like so now we've got to go up and up and up to the next deck we'll get a bit of a mooch on going through the rest of the ship again past the turrets I think the elevator's here which is handy so we can go all the way to the observation deck which is the last deck of the ship um, or the cartography deck it says and actually I think it faces this way yes but you can see the EVA area there so this is your cartography room which is one of my favorite rooms being able to plot courses you can use the station it doesn't do anything but you'll be here. It'll be a much more detailed room, a uh, map, sorry, than other ships. But it isn't it just cool? And you can, I can just see walking around, doing some sort of plotting, recording of new systems that you found. How cool is this deck? I love it. But from there, hang on, what am I doing here? we have the eva room oh these goes to a, uh, escape pods as well for the anyone on this on this deck which is they've thought of everything that's an eva suit locker because we are going through the airlock here to get on the outside which is really nice um and you can look through here and just get a good bit of vision and then you open up here and we're on the top of the ship, which is, this is the hangar door where uh, the Pisces sits underneath. So you don't want to be on here when it opens. And you can see Microtech and New Babbage. Wow. It's a size 5 turret, I believe. So this is actually a really useful area for uh, doing maintenance on the ship. Let's say, for example... Uh, you've, you've taken a whole breach or they've pierced the ship when this new physicalized damage system comes in You'll be able to come up here using whatever tools you have available at the time um, And fix it up, which is just going to be so cool It's also a great place for borders by the looks of things. So if you're trying to break into the ship that might be a good option but that is the full Karak. Other than that door that we can't get through, which I assume is storage. I don't know what's behind that. If anyone knows, do let me know because I haven't seen anyone inside it yet. But we will give it a, a quick fly around uh, New Babbage. So I will just...
come back to us once we got into the cockpit. But do let me know your thoughts. I adore this ship. And I so hope to own one one day. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see about earning it in-game or CCUing the price-cost difference between um, the end to the C2. Which I think is worth about 300 and something. I don't know. We will see. Anyway, I'll see you back in the bridge. There we go. With all these doors open that I can't close. Oh, it winds me up. Can I close this one? Yes. Right, let's take it for a spin. I've done a brief bit of flying. I'm not sure if she's responding. Engines oh. online. There we go. as well if you can hear me sound down a bit there so yeah she's she's a slow ship um, very sluggish to turn overshoots a bit when you're in atmosphere or when you're above SEM but obviously this is um, a bigger ship so it's going to it's going to feel that way but also it is early days uh, they'll be balanced and tweaked but that is the Karak or this is the Karak it is already my one of my favorites it has everything on board that you could possibly need, and it just looks incredible. Very happy that they've now got it. Is there a better way of turning? Do we have to uh, angle ourselves? But currently only available to Eva Cottage. They will allow uh, Imperators access to it, I think. Um, and obviously those who own it. When we get 382 live, I have no idea when that's going to be. My guess is sometime early next week. Uh, I hope to do some missions of running in uh, my Orgs, Carax. And then eventually we will get New Babbage. We will get 3.9. Doesn't get much better. Is there someone down there? There's something down there. Let's investigate. As the explorers, we are... Anyway, uh, be sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Um, lots more leaks and whatnot coming out, so I'll be covering them, as well as uh, checking out everything 3.9 has to offer. Uh, follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothers. Come and hang out with us. 
Oh boy, we're going down. There we go. Come and hang out with us live on Twitch. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you're excited for the Karak. Yeah, there's a little freelancer down there. What are you doing, buddy? What's he doing down there? Very suspicious. Hang on a minute. We've got someone else coming in. Comfy in a Karak. Everybody's trying out the Karaks. Got a bit of a storm rolling in as well. But anyway, thank you all for watching. A big thank you to my patrons and channel members. You guys are wonderful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I will be seeing you in the next one.